Today, I wanna to share with you information about why you would put a single dosing bean grinder into your espresso bar, covering some of the benefits for your customer, for your staff, and for your business. So in our bar, we have the Mazza ZM1. This is our choice of single dose grinder, which is different to the grinder we have over here for our main beans. And you would have seen um, the Anthem SP2 on a lot of our videos. So this one has the hopper, the beans feed through, and we grind them straight into our pots uh, and weigh the amount of grind that we want as per our recipe, which goes straight into our handle. And We've only got one um, bean hopper here, essentially. So that's our main blend, it's our champion. Now, if you're a cafe and you wanna try and attract more customers, the first thing you wanna think about is to why I would add one of these, um, I guess, deli grinder or other style um, single dose grinders is to have choice and allow your customers to have uh, a bigger coffee experience over your competitors. So that's the first big benefit is giving your customers the ability to choose um, a fresh ground decaf, um, an organic product, having a light roast and a dark roast without having to have multiple grinders all lined up side by side. If we come back over this side here, you can see that normally we actually have a Cinoart upright tamper here, but there's not much room for us to have too many grinders here. We've trialed it a few times having two grinders side by side, but it's just a bit squishy and that would still only give us two blends if we had two Anthem SP2s there. So we're still missing, if one was a dark roast, one was a light roast, yeah, we're still missing decaf and a single origin. And you could imagine that would take up a whole heap of room and also the cost of that. It's huge to have four grinders sitting there taking up valuable space. Just while there's some keen eyes out there, you may notice this is a little bit of a different automatic tamper we have here. Um, it is the new Cinoart PTB tamper, which is the pre precision tamp base. So uh, they're gonna be coming out soon. Um, Cinoart and the guys at Espresso Company Australia have helped us out with that for a bit of a trial. So we're giving it a, bit of a, a test. So far, it's a cracker. So it does lift that grinder up on top a little bit higher. Uh, this one does suit things like your Mythos and your Anthems, and it's got little holes in the top which really lock it in place, so it's super stable. Um, so keep your eye out for some those ones coming out soon. Um, but look, that would fix a bit of space if you wanted extra grinder space, but it's still only gonna give you that one grinder. So coming back over here to our single dose grinder, we can pre-weigh our beans. We can have our decaf here pre-weighed, We've got our geisha at the most, moment um, pre-weighed as well. Um, and we could still have a light roast or our other blend offerings, which we have under here. We've got our fix and our delicate. So we've got access to all of our beans that we can um, offer our customers when they come in. So from a barista's point of view, when you're communicating with a customer and they come into your shop and they say, oh, I'd like a, a coffee. If your barista turns around and says, yeah, for sure. What kind of blend would you like? Would you like a dark roast, a light roast? decaf or a single or an organic, that customer is gonna start to feel like you've got some options and you actually wanna make them the cup of coffee that they're gonna enjoy. If you as a business owner or if you're the head barista and have the choice of the coffee that you're gonna serve in the cafe and you choose a light roast coffee and you give that person a, a double shot latte and they have their first sip and they're walking down the road and it, because it's a light roast on milk, it has no body, no complexity to it and they're not really happy with that they're not gonna come back and really tell you that it's a light roast coffee and it tastes weak and you know, they're just gonna walk away and, hope, and probably won't even come back and see you again. But if you'd presented them with a few options to start with, they had a choice of a different bean and then they had a sip and went, oh, okay, it's a little bit mild. Maybe next time I'll come back in and change to their darker roast, that would suit me better. They're gonna come back in and hopefully give you that communication as well so that you can make the perfect cup when they come in the next time. So now you've got a customer that has choice in the type of coffee that they enjoy and you can accommodate them. And the single dose grinder, because they are zero retention, which means pop beans into the top, and by the time you grind it out into the dosing pot, um, you'll get the exact amount of coffee. So we've got 23 grams of any of our other size, um, other roasts here, which we pop in. It's gonna give us the 23 grams, give or take maybe one gram, with a tiny little bit of retention in there. Um, ready to go straight into our portafilter handle. If we had multiple grinders all laid up on a bench, 
there's a big um, chute which will be full of grind. And if we weren't using those constantly, we all know that coffee's gonna wage and you'd have to clear it out. So that's the other huge benefit to a single dose grinder is there's like zero wastage and the flexibility to change beans so quickly. And by pre-weighing your beans, you've got your recipe nailed ready to go. We might find our decaf needs to be 23 grams, our main blend, blend is 22 and a half grams, and then you've got a light roast coffee, which you may need to increase or decrease that recipe. So you've already nailed your recipe, and if you did find a change you needed to make quite easily, um, or, or quickly on the spot, you just need to change the pre-weighed amount of beans or the grind setting. So the key thing about the ZM and why we love it is it's got four preset um, grind settings that are all digitally measured from the blades moving in and out, which allow us to go very quickly between a single origin or a decaf um, or a dark roast or light roast. So it's as simple as pushing a button and it can change really quickly. If you've got something like your old EK, the staff have to sort of adjust that knob and try and get the right number that maybe the person before had already dialed in for a number two or a number three. Um, so it gets a little bit more complex and there's more room for variations when you're using single dosing. But the ZM, we love that for that reason. So if you're offering your customer by the cup a few different roasts now, you've then opened the opportunity to sell them a bag of beans. Now, a lot of cafes are hesitant about selling beans over the counter uh, when that customer comes in and buys a cup of coffee. I can assure you that people don't only come and have coffee in your cafe. They might come for your first cup in the morning on their way to work, but by the afternoon they might get one, an iced coffee from somewhere else, and on the weekend they definitely don't come to the same place as to where they would work. They're going to make coffee at home. So, Allowing um, the, your, your customer to buy a 250, 500 gram, gram bag of beans and take it home with them, that's okay if you've, you, you've got that option. But we would sell at least 70% of our product as a ground product over the counter. So these grinders allow you to um, have a filter setting or a plunger setting or even espresso setting. Um, so you can pop it in and grind out a whole 250 or 500 gram beans for that customer to take home and enjoy. And I guarantee you, they'll tell all of their friends how great your coffee is because they're enjoying it on the weekend and you're only gonna get more people coming and seeing you during the week. So there is an investment for any cafe to put into buying a single dose grinder. One of the investments that gets overlooked a lot is the investment in your staff. It is so easy just to tell your staff to come up to a normal grinder and hit your dosing pot and grind out your, your dose. Oop. Okay, get your handle. Pop it in, get our little NCD and do the process. Because it's something we can repeat over and over again. And that is such a simple thing to do with one main um, grinder or a main bean blend. But the minute you introduce a single dose grinder, you're gonna put so much education into your staff. You're gonna start to inspire them to understand more about the getting a good grind better distribution, recipes of coffee, to make sure that when they do put it through your machine, it is gonna nail the best coffee possible. So that part of training and supporting your, your staff to, to learn more and understand more about coffee uh, over here is gonna make a huge difference to your milk-based coffees or your main blend all day and every day. So it's, it's gonna change the, the, the culture and the atmosphere of your uh, coffee production and your customers are gonna win every time. So we highly recommend from a, a staff development side, playing with different beans, understanding different roasts, um, and, and yeah, just educating your team or your baristas to get involved and, and understand the finer parts of making that perfect espresso shot. Again, with a single dose grinder, you're now opening alternative brewing. That's a word that a lot of people have heard uh, thrown about. Really, all it means is anything other than an espresso machine. So you might be able to then put in a batchy uh, or a batch brewer. Um, again, we've got our little pre-made uh, pots down here for cold brewers, for puck pucks, um, or our single 65 grams ready for a batch in the morning. So you can have that set up really quickly and easy to do other brewing methods. Again, you might have your pour overs, like your V60s or aeropresses, whatever it might be, but that allows you to change varying variations of grinds and serve a whole range of other coffee menu drinks to your customers if you're in that dine-in scenario. 
Now I know any of the business owners out there are thinking, oh, here he is talking about a $5,000 grinder and a $4,000 grinder. Well, yes, they're a bit more expensive, there is no doubt. But having a $5,000 grinder that can offer so much more to your business of retail beans, alternative brews, having all of those different light roast singles or decafs, that's a huge offering at such a small cost of one extra grinder. Because if you're gonna try and run um, your Anthem SP2s and let's say have three of them on the bench, you're already at 12 grand, give or take a couple of dollars, um, to be able to set that up. And as I mentioned earlier, the wastage in between those individual shots is quite big. You're gonna to have to start purging um, three to, to four or five grams in between if that grinder hasn't been used for quite some time because the air will dry it up. So when you factor in the extra cost of multiple grinders, um, not only servicing, but initial layouts, you've also got the wastage of the bean that you're gonna use up just to make sure you do nail that coffee perfect for that next espresso you're gonna make. Now we all know that staffing is a challenge at the moment. And look, that's just a bit of a, an issue we're having uh, around the world. So when you're trying to grow your business and you know keep people enthused in your business, something like a, a, a single dose grinder will obviously keep the people that you've got in your business excited, but also it's gonna show those potential baristas that you're trying to employ that you're serious about coffee. They're gonna come in and the, the uh, discerning barista looking for a new job is, is gonna look at and see what kind of coffee machine you have, what kind of main bean grinder, and do you have a deli grinder or a batchy. These are cool things that, um, you know, that gun barista is actually looking for in their next role. They may have only had, um, let's say, a, a deli grinder um, as an option in their last cafe, but that cafe might not have offered alternative brewing or retail products. So you could be looking at stepping up the quality of the people that you're gonna employ, which will also then help you grow your business. So there is the benefit. So I hope that's giving you a really good insight as to why um, Artisti, uh, when we support cafes, make sure that we get a great machine, a great um, bean grinder, and we try and incorporate a single dose grinder to any of these accounts. So that when you're looking for an Artisti coffee, you're gonna get a range of great coffees and the baristas are gonna know what they're doing because it sits really well with our philosophy of building great businesses that make great coffee, but also um, empowering baristas to be better at coffee as well. So if you can try and bring that into your business, you're gonna win. If you've got any questions about any of the equipment that I've spoken about today, um, or how a single dose grinder may fit into your business, put a question down below and I will happily answer that for you. And anyway, thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.